So somebody asked about OCT of the retinal nerve fiber layer of the optic nerve. And so here's a picture of an OCT, and I'll draw it bigger. But at the bottom here, and we took off the name, of course, is this pi. In the center of the pi is what we call the global number. That's the global measurement of the nerve fiber layer. And this OCT is like a line scan that's taking a measurement in a circle of the peripapillary nerve fiber layer. And so we get this quadrants of pi, little pieces of pi, that tell us each sector has some nerve fiber layer associated with it, and it'll be color-coded. Green is good, yellow is borderline, red is bad. And that's just arbitrarily defined as the 95th percentile for the yellow zone, 0.05 on the p-value, and 99th percentile for the red zone. So one of the things you need to know is the nerve fiber layer of the optic nerve in the temporal fiber, it inserts right into the top like this, superior temporal, and the inferior temporal goes into the bottom. So these top segments are actually temporal, temporal fiber. And these fibers here are nasal, and this one is the papillomacula bundle, and this one is nasal. So it's nasal, nasal, temporal, temporal. And so when you get a picture on the OCT, it might show just one quadrant that is decreased. And all that means is that you have sector nerve fiber layer loss. So you can have sector nerve fiber layer loss of just the papillomacula bundle. That usually produces a central or secocentral scotoma. And that's this fiber right here from the macula to the optic nerve. And that's typically seen in patients that have optic neuropathies that are like toxic or nutritional optic neuropathies or labral hereditary optic neuropathy. The prototype for the loss of the arcuate temporal fiber, like this, is glaucoma. And so you get cupping that's vertically oriented. And the sector of the temporal fiber might be out. And you can have nasal pallor or nasal cupping. And that is called band cupping because it runs like a band across the optic nerve. So band atrophy, band cupping is a sector form of atrophy. Sector pallor can be up and down, temporal, or it can just be the papillomacula bundle. So the fact that one sector is down tells you that that part of the nerve fiber layer is what's out. It doesn't tell you what the cause is, but in general, Temporal fiber with cupping is glaucoma. Papillomacula bundle is toxic nutritional or hereditary optic neuropathy. And band atrophy normally is intracranial, either at the chiasm, producing bilateral band from bi -nasal, bilateral nasal loss from a bitemporal hemianopsia, or optic tract lesion with a homonymous hemianopsia and the band atrophy in the eye with the temporal fiber loss. The other thing that can cause a sector atrophy is non-arteritic anterior ischemic optic neuropathy. So patients might have an altitudinal field defect, but only the bottom part of the optic nerve will be pale. So sector atrophy plus altitudinal field defect, that's a very common thing that happens after NAIOM. And so you should be looking both at the global, which is that middle number, as well as the sectors that have nerve fiber layer loss, and the type of sector involvement might suggest the etiology of the optic neuropathy on OCT.